9 years of experience almost closing down to 10 and in all this 9 10 years i have seen that whenever a customer plans to buy a home theater one of the biggest approval that he has to take from is his wife or his spouse and the reason why i am saying this is that we in the industry use a term called wife approval factors for buying home theaters and that is exactly what i'm going to talk about in today's video now you would see me smiling a lot in this particular video because this is a little different topic which i know many people would connect to because in my conversations also with most of you we have actually covered this thing and we have spoken on it that when it is just you who want the home theater and wife is not really in for it there are certain things that you need to take care of and in today's video we are going to take care of these four factors so that you get that approval from your wife and you can still buy and enjoy your dream home cinema experience now before i begin let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya and since last 9 and a half years we have been designing more than thousands of home theater or home cinema experiences for clients across india and to do that we with i with my team out here have been ensuring that we give out genuine guidance and support to all of you so that you are in a better place so that you can make well informed wise and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home cinema segment and like always in this particular video as well these four factors that i'm going to share with you today are is going to help you again take that right decision in buying your dream home cinema experience now before we jump on to those four factors i want to know from each one of you that while shopping for home theaters which are the things that your wife has you know asked you to stay away from or has ensured that you know you do not buy home theater because she is just feared of all those things now if you have got some points in your mind then type them out in the comments below so that we can see if your uh, problems matches with our list of the wife approval factors and to those of you who want to design these beautiful home cinema experiences by considering these four factors then make sure to watch the video till the end because at the end of the video i am going to share with you the best tool to design a great home cinema experience now the first factor that you have to always keep in mind is the wires i know this for a fact because my own wife she will never like to see any cables exposed and that is why wiring or cabling needs to be planned in a manner that it is hidden and it is very very minimal so that your wife approves your home theater system and she will not object you know you buying this dream home cinema experience of yours now to do that what you can look at is you can look at wireless speaker options you can look at sound bars or you can even plan for the wiring in the electrical stage of your new home so if you do these things properly then in that case your wiring will be very well taken care of and you won't have to see the exposed cables lying on the floor or behind uh, the tv or the speakers hanging around so make sure to plan the cables way in advance so that this problem can be taken care of now the second factor that you have to always consider is that we live in a country wherein the floor space is very very expensive and typically with these floor standing and tower speakers nobody wants to see those exposed speakers lying on the floor consuming lot of space and at the same time coming in between of your passage or on your you know uh, in the room environment so for that reason this can be one of the factors that can deter your wife from hip you know from making you spend on that dream home cinema experience of yours so do take care of floor space try to move on to on wall speakers in wall speakers bookshelf speakers so floor space make sure you know to avoid all these things what you can do is you can try to opt for bookshelf speakers or on wall in wall speakers and try avoiding the floor standing speakers which are kept on the floor and are going to consume your floor space now the third factor is a little related to this particular object which is more on the aesthetics part now the reason why i am saying aesthetics cause there are speakers which is which are going to be black which are going to pop out from the wall or they are going to you know overall 
be in the vision now in case that is another factor which is going to deter your home cinema buying experience then in that case make sure to opt for involve or consult speakers which will eliminate the problem of having any speaker visible to the naked eyes and everything goes concealed with the grills flush to the paneling now these grills can also be painted so in case you are buying involve speakers you can match the color of the grill with the surface that you are putting it on and by that is how you can again avoid having the speakers pop out from the wall and get your wife's approval to buy your home theater system now the last and the fourth approval is the user friendly system now the reason why i'm stressing a little more on this is cuz nobody likes to have a complicated home theater system in their uh, living room bedrooms or the dedicated cinema rooms they want to be equally part of that system but if you try to design a very very complicated system with too many remote controls then in that case it may hamper the entire experience and your spouse or partner would start hating the system so make sure to either do automation use all in one remote controls or try and keep it very very easy and simple with less number of remotes so that everyone in the family including your spouse or partner can enjoy the system properly and the entire fun of having that system and operating it is kept very very simple and minimal so this user friendly use approval factor is another important factor that you need to consider while buying and designing your dream home cinema experience now in case now in case you find these four factors interesting and you feel that one of these factors have also happened in your life do share your experience in the comments below and as promised at the start of the video we are going to share with you how to design the best home cinema experience now to do that we have attached a link in the description which you can use so make sure to click that it's just a 2 minute exercise that you will have to do which gives you clarity and which gives us clarity on understanding your requirements and designing the right solution now once you do that don't forget to do the last step which is going to be asked for you because without that step your experience will not be you know really happening or you will not get some good fantastic options which you can put up in your uh, desired space so try to do that complete it till the last step and i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya will see you all in the next video thank you so much